Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So according to a recent blog post, it seems the main reason Microsoft wants you to move from the classic mail and calendar app in Windows to the new Outlook for Windows is for security reasons. Now, Microsoft has this to say in a recent blog post, and I have uh, covered the first part of this uh, in a previous video, where they say that Outlook for Windows supports modern authentication. Now, that's the first reason they give for security reasons why they want you to move on. And I have posted a whole video on that modern authentication uh, in the new Outlook, and that will be linked down below and in the end screen. Now, even above modern authentication, they also say that they are working on new features in the coming months that will improve junk mail filtering and help you better protect yourself from malicious mail. So that's why they are encouraging all remaining users of the mail and calendar apps on Windows to move to Outlook for Windows as soon as possible. So, I mean, security is a good thing. I'm sure this statement may cause a bit of debate, but nonetheless, that's the main reason um, Microsoft wants you to move on from those classic versions to the new Outlook, and that's for security reasons. Now, even above the security reasons Microsoft uh, states why you should move on is they also give the benefits um, of using the new Outlook web app for Windows. And the first one is because they say the new Outlook is free. Now, that is true, but they forget to mention one thing. And this is a small, but I think a significant little annoyance, well, especially for me anyway, um, is that when you open the new Outlook for Windows, as I've mentioned previously on the channel, although there are given benefits, the first one being that the, the app is free, every time you open the new Outlook, you see this ad appear here in your inbox. And that happens every time you open the new Outlook. So you can't disable that ad and then the first way to get rid of it is you obviously have to delete it with that little trash can icon by clicking on that and you have to do that every time you open the new outlook or if you don't want to go through that process um, you'll need to subscribe to the basic Microsoft 365 subscription plan to remove that ad which isn't viable for everybody so although they have listed it's free as a benefit you do get that ad, so just take note of that. And another be another benefit Microsoft gives over and above security is um, you don't need to purchase Outlook to use your personal email accounts. And uh, I have posted on this previously where, as an example, you are now able to add your Gmail account. And I'll leave that video linked in the end screen as well. So that's another benefit Microsoft gives. And then some other benefit they give, which I think is a bit debatable, they say because the new Outlook for Windows has Copilot integration. Now, I don't think that's going to be a major draw card for most users of the Outlook email, email client, but Microsoft does give that as a benefit. And over and above the benefits, though, um, I would say one of the big drawbacks currently with uh, the new Outlook is it needs the internet to work. So it doesn't have offline um, functionality, but this is changing. As I posted um, earlier this month, that offline e email support is coming to the new Outlook for Windows this month. So that's still on a controlled rollout. I haven't seen that offline email support appear yet um, in my region, but nonetheless, that should be coming and by the end of this month, June, but just wanted to put it out there. I know we've kind of rabbit trailed a little bit in this video, but um, Microsoft says the main reason they want you to move from the classic mail and calendar app is and move on to the new Outlook for Windows is due to security reasons. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.